Okay, guys, we're back. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we had to keep working because the material was setting up. So now we've got that sorted out. Um, just wanted to show you where we were now. Again, sorry about the the oops with the signal, but we have the mold is basically done. We spent the last few minutes just kind of evening things out and getting our beauty cup coat done. So now we're just using a piece of burlap to kind of rub the edges that we were working on that are still a little bit able to take the, the sanding kind of. But this is the beauty coat. This is the last coat. We got our minimum one inch thickness around the flange, uh, around the base, and hopefully throughout. So now we're just rubbing it down, giving a final coat. And I can feel that it's very warm, so I know that the last coat is doing what it's supposed to do. You want to rub that side. So again, very sorry about the oops with the technical difficulties. At least it saved the video, which was my main concern. I was worried that that whole video would be gone because we lost our internet signal so abruptly for some reason. Thank you and Xfinity. But um, that's what we're looking at. So the next time you see this, we'll actually be doing the demold. Um, and then we'll have clean out and everything like that. But we've got the mold done. So I just wanted to come back real quick and tell everyone what was going on um, so you could see what the final result was. What we'll do next is clean the clay off that we can get this back vertical, um, and that'll be after it goes through its cooling cycle, and we'll let this get um, cured completely to where it doesn't feel so humid when we touch it. And then the edges will all be um, ground down. We use an angle grinder to get all the edges off and neaten up the base. And then once all that's done, we can start the demolding process. And it'll probably involve heating the mold up to soften the clay underneath. And then we can start popping it. Because with that clay, it's a very rigid clay. Monster clay goes from very soft when you heat it up to very, very firm, almost like a plastic material. So we'll have to heat it up to probably get around all the little jagged edges around the gills and stuff. We'll probably lose a lot of detail. But we do have it done. This is what it looks like. So we will definitely update everyone. And uh, hope you guys learned something. If uh, you have any questions after the fact, please feel free to message me. Um, again, thanks to our sponsors, Pache Airbrush, um, Hearts of Reality, Give Kids the World. Um, we're hoping to do major things with this. So tune in for more updates shortly, but this is the end of the molding of the creature mask. So thank you so much for tuning in. And Mac, I'm glad you liked it. Um, share this video with your friends, and if you would be so kind, the whole series, um, we're going to try, like we said in the last broadcast, to edit it down to something that's a little bit easier to watch over a shorter period of time. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in. And like I said, have a good rest of the Sunday. I was just making sure the grinder was here and not.